What's up guys, Baker here. Today I have a tutorial. This will be on white balance. Uh, it's kind of like a quick tip kind of thing for color correcting footage in post-production. So this technique uh, works very well with overcast footage or indoor footage when you don't get the full range of colors and vibrance that you want and uh, things that just have a really weird tone to them. So it's a super easy technique. Let's go ahead and jump in. You can turn this into this in about five seconds. All right, let's take a look. So let's start over here, make a new adjustment layer by going to layer, new adjustment layer. And let's go to effect color correction levels. So if I take a look at the histogram over here, um, we can see we don't get the full range from black to white. So it is overcast, so we don't have these highlights. Let's go to the red channel first and we don't have any red highlights so we can just bring the input down until it hits the edge of this and the darks look fine let's go to green channel again let's bring this in until it matches here and let's go to the blue channel bring this in and just to double check let's go to RGB and we have the full range of black to white so that right, right there it's a nice and bright vibrant you could use a hue and saturation if you want it to be a little bit more saturated but um, sometimes when you contrast this method it gets a little too oversaturated so you can just add a tint and just tint this maybe 25 percent depends what look you're going for but yeah so the other example I have we have a city skyline boom nice full contrast using the exact same method a lot of indoor shots have a weird uh, yellow or kind of tan uh, hue to them. Uh, so again, just do the same technique. So let's make another new adjustment layer and bring on some levels. Now our histogram isn't showing up, so let's go to edit purge all memory real quick. All right. So let's go again to the red channel. We need to bring this down to this edge and bring this up to here. Green channel, do the same thing, bring it to the edge, bring it to the edge. Blue channel, bring it to the edge, and a little bit in, and just to check, RGB, full range, looks good. Now it is a tad too saturated for my taste, so let's go to tint, and tint 25%. So before, after. So if you know if you're selling something on eBay, don't upload a picture like this, looks kind of gross. Do a quick white balance check and everything looks good so yeah you can use this for photo editing or video editing whatever you want just you know quick levels adjustment get the right white balance that you're looking for and that is it it's not too in depth but it is pretty important for uh, color correcting footage in post production and yeah I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys enjoyed it so leave a like favorite uh, comment if you have any questions hit me up on Facebook and Twitter all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Peace.